Hi, it's Don from Thinix, and we're going to demonstrate how to install RetroUI Pro version 3 on a computer running Windows 8. So here we are at the Windows 8 start screen, and I'm going to go back to the classic desktop, and I've opened uh, Internet Explorer, and I've gone to RetroUI.com, and we can just click the download link at the top of the page, click on 32-bit or 64-bit, uh, enter your email address, and download the software. And uh, I've already done that, and I downloaded the software to my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the installer, and click Next, Next, Next. And RetroUI is installing now, and it prompts us and says, do you want to uh, allow the following program to install software? And RetroUI does its installation, puts a couple icons on the desktop, um, hit close to launch Retro UI. It pops up one more dialog for uh, an escalated command that it needs to run. And I'll hit yes. And Retro UI is now installed. So um, we didn't get a start button at the bottom of the screen. Um, so we can right click on the taskbar, go to toolbars and click on the Retro UI Start button. And I can close this window. And so now we have a, a Start button at the bottom of the screen. And so I'm going to click that. And you can see that we have a Start menu. Um, we'll also go back to the classic desktop. Excuse me, we'll also go back to the Start screen. And we'll see that Retro UI has modified the Start screen now so that our taskbar is visible. So if we open um, a Metro application, we'll see that these uh, Metro apps now open in resizable windows. So the travel app opened here, and um, I can resize the travel app and put it anywhere on my screen. I can also press F12 on the keyboard to resize this application. Um, I can press F4 to close it. And here we are back at the classic desktop. So within the Start menu, <clears throat> we can open things like Word. Um, we can open uh, drives in our computer. So here's Drive C, for example. Um, and uh, we can also open um, Metro apps directly from this uh, menu. And so if we have a Metro app that we want to pin that's installed, that's not listed, I can go to All Programs. And it lists all of the apps that are installed here. So <clears throat> I'm going to right click Angry Birds Star Wars, pin to start menu, and go back to our favorites. And here we have Angry Birds Star Wars. If I don't want it at that location, or if I notice that I've got a couple copies of the same file, I can right click and enable editing. And I can get rid of one of these. And then I can rearrange these icons the way I want them. And jump out of editing. And if I want to launch that Metro app directly from the Start menu, I can just click it. Um, an overarching concept in Retro UI is that people that are working at desks um, in an office on a laptop or a normal PC um, are going to spend most of their time running Windows applications. So instead of bouncing back and forth to the Start screen to open those applications, you can simply open the applications um, from the Start menu. So for example, if we want to open Notepad, and then we want to open Calculator. <clears throat> um, we can open these applications real quickly, just like you'd expect. Um, so if we wanted to open Excel, so now we've got these three applications running. And um, to repeat that same process with the Windows Start screen is a lot more tedious. Um, we have to open the Start screen. We have to find Excel. Um, we'd have to open the start screen. We'd have to search for Notepad. Uh, we'd have to open the start screen and open, you know, whatever other documents we want. So you can see that working in uh, the classic desktop is a lot more efficient with a traditional start menu. But the start menu from Retro UI is enhanced uh, greatly from the Windows 7 start menu, although this is designed to have the look and feel of the Windows 7 Start menu, 
it integrates Windows 8 features so we can launch Windows 8 applications, we can return to the uh, Windows 8 start screen, and we can do things like opening the charms bar, um, we can do things like opening Metro Search, um, <clears throat> and we can do those things. Um, here's a task switcher. So we can uh, do those things quickly from within the classic desktop without having to return back to the Windows 8 start screen. And if we do want to launch a Windows 8 app, we can launch that application directly from our start menu, and uh, that makes it a lot more efficient to use Windows 8 on a desktop PC. So a real quick overview of RetroUI Pro version 3 and how to install it on Windows 8. Thank you.